What's up, everybody? Zip is ever 12 here, bringing you back another episode of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Tutorials. This time, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna tell you guys how to actually break the guard of an opponent very easy. Because I, I have learned this trick um, very recently in Storm 4, and I'm gonna tell you guys how to break the opponent's guard very easily. Now, there are three, there are three ways I'm explaining to this video how to actually break the guard. And they're very easy. I got I got Sasuke, Boruto, and Neji on my team. They all I picked these characters for a specific reason. All right. Make sure, uh, if you guys love if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. And um, tell me any other advanced tutorials you guys want me to do down in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Alright everybody, okay, so let's get started. Alright, first I'm gonna turn the guard on because that's the whole point of this video. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you guys how to actually break the guard, but first let's look at the guard. Now, if you don't know already, there are four stages of the guard which you can break. And you see as I hit Sutter's guard, you see a blue aura that comes up when I hit her. So first it turns to blue, then it turns to orange, you see right there? Let me see. Then it turns to red, as you see right there. See it turn to red? And then that that that's how you know that the guard is almost about to break and, and it breaks and she and she gets dizzy. So there are three levels which you need to get down. See blue. Uh, I, 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 I gotta I got use boards. So blue, orange, red, and then it's almost about to break. There we go. So really, really there's only four stages of the guards which you need to break. This is blue. Orange, red, and then really red, and that and that's when it breaks. But once you get the hang of these colors, that's how you know that, that um, your points guard is about to break. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first way of actually breaking the points guard, which is just extending the combo with your air combo. That's basically what it is. Now, I got Neji because only because um I'm gonna I'm gonna call this the infinite combo breaker. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, the infinite guard breaker. Because the infinite guard breaker is you go into a combo and then you can extend your combo with something to pressure your opponent's guard, which they can't sub, run away, or block. They have they, they have to block only. So let me show you. So first, there's one way of using the infinite guard breaker, which is um, using the air combo and just restarting the combo. So I got Neji, so I'm gonna show you. Right there, see that? So you see that right there? See that right there? See Neji how he's going so fast, and I'm doing the air combo and landing landing him right back down on the ground and doing another combo. That is an infinite combo. They cannot sub that, nor run away from that, nor counter that. That means that that is an infinite combo breaker. Now only a few people have this actual type of thing where they go into the air combo and and um, it extends to another combo. Only a few people in this game has it, like Neji or maybe Rock Bleed or uh, Sasuke. Only a few people have it. But there, there are other ways to do it. There are other ways to actually extend your combos and actually break the guard. So there's there's the air combo. That, that's that's um, the one option. Alright, I'm going to go to Boruto. The other option is using your Shuriken. Right there, and, and I prefer to use the Demon Wind Shuriken just because it attacks most of the times. So let me show you. Right there. There you go. That little combo right there. That they cannot sub that because the, the Shuriken actually hits the counter whenever they try to counter, and I can go right into a combo because they is so sudden. Now. This now this technique will not work for everybody. The, um, because with Boruto, it um it does help or no or Boruto, but with characters like these that you need to extend it with the Shuriken, it is it is um, wise to have a cover strike, which is Sasuke right there. See how he's um, throwing another Shuriken in my side right there? It does help to have that. But only if you got characters like this, like Boruto. You see? She, she, Sarada cannot run away from it. They can't sub it, or they, they, they can sub it, but they can't guard. Um, excuse me. They can't run away from it. They can't counter it, and they can't uh, um, run away from it. I guess something, something over. 
Okay, so that's step two. That's two ways of actually how to break the opponent's guard. And you should practice this in practice mode because this is very useful. Ooh, look at a little combo. Flip in post. Alright, so the last one is extending it with the jutsu. Now, let me see, do I have, do I have the right jutsu one? There you go, I have the Chidori. Now, I'll look for the Sasuke. And you see Sasuke, I'm a, he only has a three hit combo. And that doesn't do nothing to the guard. That does nothing at all. It, it just puts it down by one level. So how do you extend it with, how do you extend it? You can't extend it with the Shuriken because it goes too far back. And they can run away from that. So how do you do it? You do a Jutsu. But may not just use the Chidori. Like that, right there. You see that? Sasuke broke it in only two shots. Alright, so what you do is that you use a combo, and once that combo ends, you use the Chidori. And once the, ch and once the Chidori touches the opponent, you cancel it, and then go into another combo. And that does major damage to the guards. Let me show you. And, and just like that, they cannot sub it. They cannot counter it, and they cannot run away from it. Well, they can sub it, but they cannot run away from it or counter it. And this is probably the most devastating one, just because that you, because it's so devastating. You can't do anything about it. You can't do jack. You can't do anything, and that's why it's so good, so delicious. But that those are the three ways of actually how to beat a dash, um, not dash guy, but uh, how to beat the guard on somebody. How the easy ways now. You're gonna have to experiment for yourself because only a few people are like Neji, only a few people are like Boruto, only a few people are like Sasuke. So basically, um, stuff like this, usually it only happens with a Jutsu that actually makes contact with the opponent. So like, um, Naruto's with Sangon, you can extend it like this, or Sada, um, not Sada, but Sakura's super, uh, wait, Cherry Blocks and Flash, you can extend that, cancel it, and go into the goes into a combo just like that and that you can break major damage the only the only the only disadvantage about this little technique is that it wastes a junk of chakra if you don't have enough chakra you're gonna be left wide open so make sure you have enough chakra for this technique but i think my favorite is gonna be bored so because the shooting cannon one is pretty cool and then they, they can't sub it nor counter it that's pretty cool but the, those are just three. Those are three ways that have to have to. Uh, excuse me. Those are three ways of actually how to beat the guard of somebody. But there are other ways too. Like you can just spam out juices and jump. You can spam it out. But that, they they can sub that. I mean, they can run away from that stuff. That's why I devise three ways only. So that is the end of this tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.